In my last video I explored different wheel sizes and I thought the 36 inch wheel size looked a bit strange because the wheelbase was too short. So it got me thinking about how to make the bike more stable. So what would this bike ride like if the wheelbase was a bit longer? So I made the wheelbase a parameter in the selection menu. So I could make it longer or even longer or maybe a little bit too long to see what would happen. I started with the 36er but I made some kind of mistake in the calculations and got the frame geometry quite wrong. So here's what the 36er looks like with 100 millimeter longer than normal wheelbase. I think it is slightly more stable than the factory wheelbase. I think it's pretty good. This is probably a more realistic wheelbase for this size of bike. But how do we know this is enough? I mean, what happens if you make the wheelbase longer? What would be the best length? Would it be more stable if it was a little longer? Let's look at a standard 29-inch mountain bike with full suspension. This terrain is very difficult. You can see the suspension working very hard. It's quite easy for this bike to tip over. Even if we give it a 50 millimeter longer wheelbase, the rider is still not skillful enough to keep the bike upright. With 100 millimeter longer frame, even this terrible rider is able to ride some of the terrain, but the larger bumps are too much. Since I'm making the wheelbase longer by stretching out the front wheel, it makes the bike more stable and less likely to tip over forwards but it can still tip over backwards with about the same ease. How about jumps? How would a rigid bike do over this jump? Well, it might have been okay with a little bit more speed or a little bit more suspension. Okay, now we're getting into some unrealistic territory. This bike has an extra 400 millimeter frame pushing the front wheel out. It is really bouncy on some of this rolling terrain. The suspension is not really tuned for this size of bike, and so the bounciness eventually gets the better of it. Well, it is safe to say we are fully in the realm of fantasy now. This bike has 800 millimeters of extra frame. This bike might be almost impossible to keep upright in real life, and it's almost certainly impossible to take around any kind of realistic corner. It might be okay for the Autobahn. It is surprisingly stable, even up to 30 or 40 kilometers per hour. The front suspension hardly has any weight on it, and so you can see from the top graph, the fork percentage never goes very high. The suspension needs to be completely retuned for this size. You might be asking if there is any kind of terrain which can topple this bike. It would seem like a limiting factor might be the ground clearance, but so far that has not been an issue as long as the speed is fast. But if the speed is lower, I think you're right, the downfall will be the ground clearance.